Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to continuing to enjoy Dark Souls 3. Gotten rid of the Crystal Sage, and now we move on to the rest of the cathedral, because this area is a pretty cool area. It also contains a lot of the things that I'm looking for. I will grant the Cestus is my parrying weapon of choice in the moment, but I'm curious about the parrying dagger. I'm probably not going to use it, but I figure it's just worth having, just to know for sure that it's still what it is. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, I don't know. I've never actually tried it. But I feel it worth my time to experiment. Not to mention the Cathedral of the Deep is also where I need to go in order to get through the rest of the game if I want to actually get past the next section. Because I could go to Farron Keep, that's true. But that would do me no good if I don't have the stuff at the end of Cathedral, as I found out the hard way. The last time. So given that, I think I can stop you. Ow, no I can't, because you stunned me first. Alright, never mind. Whoa. Okay, never mind. No, 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 no. Okay, so let's try that again. Except this time, I parry you. And now... Oh, no. Seriously? It's too many of you. Okay, there's one too many of you. I will have to do this... The slightly easier way, so that I don't end up getting myself killed. I'm surprised you're not going for your one-handed mode, honestly. I mean, I can deal with you even if you don't. As I have just demonstrated, rather aptly, I might add. I'm not sure why you continue to fight, because clearly, I have your num number, number, I'm saying I have your number, I'm clearly not living by that. And you, ah, partial parry, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna have so little Estus going forward. There's another bonfire, but it's only one bonfire. At least I'm managing to parry you. I mean, I talk about the parrying dagger, and the Cestus is doing me some good. It's clear that my parrying skill needs work regardless. But, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by these two cage-wielding giants, I am hoping to get that. I'm also hoping to get the ring. What ring? No, there's no ring yet. That's later. I mean, there's parts of the Onry quest. There's parts of the Grey Rat quest. There's also parts of other new quests we haven't even started yet. Ow, ow. Not you. Too late. Early. Too early. I know I can parry this guy, I just need to do exactly that. Okay, we got it. I'm surprised I'm actually getting this parry as well I am. Oh, seriously? You get up way too fast. All right, so. I'm honestly probably better off not trying to remember all the things that are in the next section. I am also probably pretty well off looking to the Herald armor, seeing what happens there. The Herald armor is a bit lighter. Overall, not as good. Herald gauntlets are over here. Herald gloves. Again, lighter, a bit better versus slash overall, and not as good versus other things. And Fallen Knight stuff compared to Herald stuff. Pattern repeats itself. So it doesn't look like there's a whole lot I can get out of the Herald set that I just got. And I'm guessing this is a helm. Indeed it is. It shows my face, but not my hair. And there's a bonfire. Well, let's rest at the bonfire then. Ah, shoot. Okay, never mind. It, it would have been a funnier joke if I had prepped for it, but apparently I did not. That being said, there actually is a legit bonfire right here. And yes, I'm going to rest at it. I'm not going to make the same mistake three times. At least three times. I've actually lost count of how often I've made that specific mistake. I'm a little embarrassed of myself for that, to be honest. However, there's also this dude. Hey, this dude. Oh. That was not what I expected. I expected you to do... Oh, what? Seriously? That was... Did I not parry? Okay, whatever. You're getting backstabbed. You know what? I'm not even going to bother trying to parry you. I'm just going to go for it hard. Because I can. I can? Can I? Good question. Okay, maybe I can't. Seriously, you're going to do that to me? Aha! Eat my dagger! Maybe I should cover the parry option. Sheesh. This double dagger option is clearly limited in its usefulness. I yeah, this they can roll out of it pretty easily. Ah! Let me out! What the heck? Why couldn't I get out of there? That was weird. I thought I could get out of there by the, the step ability. Alright, apparently I was right the first time going from the Cestus. That was weird. I 
really don't know what happened there. Anyway, let's try that a bit more sensibly then. Actually, way more sensibly. Start by enchanting my weapon. And then moving on to fighting in a way that allows me to parry things, or at least make your life miserable if you try to do anything funny. Like that. Okay, seriously? Did you do something a little bit more predictable? And not quite so rapid. And, okay, that works too. I can work with that. I can sort of work with that. I can heal up and get myself in a reasonably good position. Oh, come on. Seriously? I didn't get to backstab you when I was in the perfect position to do so. I mean, I hope anyone who disliked backstabs in earlier games is satisfied by the outcome there. Aha! There you go. I get my revenge. You know, I recall that guy being the harder of the two. There's another one up there that's got a spider shield and an axe. And they're a pain in the butt, but I don't recall them being as much of a pain in the butt as the, as the thief I just killed. I also don't remember exactly where they are. And yes, I realize I'm remembering things, and it's possibly spoily. Also, we got Paladin's Ashes. That might be a new thing. I don't recall if I got Paladin's Ashes before. They're not very familiar. Let's see. I think they are a normal item. They should be in here some... No, they're a key item. There they are. Umbralash of a worn-out paladin who sought the Cathedral of the Deep. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. This paladin paid quite a price for his headstrong justice. His justice. I don't know why. I do know why I went for that. You don't necessarily, but it's it's a long story of justice. And not so much of paladins. Is there anything up here? Hey! There's a crest shield! And hey! That much more relevant thing. Where I can just shoot you in head with arrow. Like so. Oh, really? I can just shoot you? I mean... I'm Okay, I can't just shoot you. You're a bit smarter than that. My apologies, I did not give you enough credit. Whoa. Dude, you almost hit me! And I'm playing the game! Seriously, be careful. Okay, that's the problem. I need to not... First, I need to lock on. I need to not use the L1. I need to not use the the double hit recklessly, because that's the part that can get me killed if I'm not careful. Or just gets me in a position where I can heal up for free. Oh boy, I think that would have been death. I don't want to try to get hit. I want to try to not get hit. Ah! Yes! Yes! Okay, never mind. The thief was definitely the harder of the two. I can just utterly abuse what I have to work with. That being this blade. Because this blade is the best. I was looking forward to this blade. These daggers here. I was right to. Can I level up? No, I cannot. I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere near, and I have no souls with which to level up, so... I will get my Estus back... I don't need to worry about anything else. Actually, you know what? I do need to get my Paladin's Ashes used. So I will deal with that. And then the rest of the Cathedral awaits. Well, I dealt with the Ash, and for any of those curious, it unlocked an axe, a talisman, a couple other things that are Paladin-y, and this ring, which gives me damage absorption when my HP is full. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, everything way of white cleric related. Except for the Lloyd Sword Ring, which is inside the cathedral. But everything else, that seems to be part of the Paladin's Ashes. So now, my absorption is 37 to 34, or 32 to 37 for the first hit. That's nice. It's a huge improvement. It's the first hit only, but that's often the important one. I tend to try to heal up to full when I can. So if the first hit can reduce the amount of damage considerably, that is still appreciated... Hey, you're a dog. I, as much as I've recommended people not fight dogs in the past, you're a dog, and I can kill- Ow! What the heck? Don't- No, no, bad. Bad dog. What have I said before? Bad dogs like you. As I recall, sit, stay, and play dead. Of course, I can't really say that the crossbow wielders, they are not going to be necessarily listening to me as much. Yeah! I can't, however, just kill them and make that happen regardless. And Really? You had to do that, didn't you? You had to just hit... You had hit me too. Fine. I'll just cut you and take life from you by cutting you with a knife. Because that's how taking people's life works. 
like a vampire except with a knife instead of teeth. It's slightly less efficient since it's easier to break and remove from me. I don't know if you've ever tried to disarm someone of their teeth, but it's remarkably difficult. It's definitely a reason why Life Drain by Knife has a little bit more finesse to it. So I'm a slightly more skillful vampire. The rest of the vampires can go suck it. Anyway. Now that that's out of the way, which is quite frankly the most annoying part of the entrance to the Cathedral of the Deep, I've just got a bunch of zombies to deal with. Because how is that any different from the rest of Dark Souls? Except there are zombies with magas that come out. But before that I have suicide explosion zombies. And suicide explosion zombies. Suicide explosion... Oh, what was it called? Seppuku zombies. They have a flaming knife, and they stab themselves, and they set them on fire, and then they come after me, because apparently they can't stand being on fire. Which is true of most beings. I just find it interesting that they explode as a result. Also inside here is a bonfire, which I believe I can open from this side. Yes, I can. A fact I actually find surprising. And I mean that, because... While this is nice to have a bonfire here, there's a window over here. Never mind. Okay. Sorry, I was thinking the window here was, for some reason, here. And if that was the case, it would make more sense that this would only open from one side, so you'd have to go up there, through the graveyard we're about to go through, all the way around, down the ladder, down to here, drop, drop through the window, and then come to the bonfire, instead of simply having that as a way of getting around, and oh hey. Merciful goddess. Mother of the Forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> So, I should go over a little bit of my plan for the DLC. Now, when I first went through this, obviously the DLC wasn't released. I was trying to go through it as it came out. Now, however, the game is complete. What this means is, if I wanted to, I could go to the Painted World right now. However, I don't. My plan is actually to go through the Dreg Keep after beating the Soul of Cinder. So, beat the base game, then go through the Ring City, then finally go through the Ashes of Ariandel DLC. The reason for that is due to an argument I heard from someone I can't remember offhand. It was something I saw on YouTube. Basically made the argument that had the Dark Souls 3 DLC been one DLC, it would probably have been the Ring City Fall by Ashes of Ariandel. I'm blanking on who it was. It was either Joseph Anderson or possibly H-Bomber Guy. I don't think it was H-Bomber Guy. I mean, that's a very sensible opinion to have. So I doubt it was him. But... It's still a matter of having this continuity. The idea is the drag keep basically continues immediately after the Soul of Cinder fight, after the killing of the first flame, and then moves on through the Ring City. Afterwards, you fight Gale, get the blood from Gale into the painted world, because the idea of the Ring City is, you'll, you'll see, the world's basically further in the future as a result. And then the Ashes of Ariandel DLC is in a painted world, so a totally different dimension. And that changes things considerably because it means that you can actually think of it in terms of the of the future of it beyond just this world. And that's a cool concept. The one thing that I'd like to see beyond that is how it feels when you have the stuff that you get from Gale when you finish the Sister Frida fight. Basically when you beat all this stuff in the opposite order to how I've done it in the past. And looks like nothing's here yet. Something will be there soon. But not yet. And more suicide explosions. Off to the side with you, and you don't drop anything, sadly enough. However, that is not sad at all. It's Deshard. Oh boy, am I glad about that. And this is the graveyard I was talking about. In fact, this is the graveyard I was talking about. This is the thing I was talking about a while ago, where I said, if I don't get a torch, I'm going to regret it. This place is why. 
I hope we'll not see why, because quite frankly, it's gross. But given that it seems like it will likely happen sooner or later, in fact, that could very well have caused that exact status I was worried about, I'm expecting we are going to see this problem. Ooh, Historic Greatsword. Got that before. That's a faith-based greatsword. It's not terribly faith-oriented, but that is still not the build I'm going for. But anyway, there is a status effect, essentially a repeated bleed through maggots that these things vomit on you. Torches will get rid of them. And last time I got through a year on my own, not caught on tape or on camera, whatever you want to call it. Last time I went through it off camera, I didn't have that and I seriously re regretted it. I had to go through assessing myself, hoping for the best, hoping I wouldn't die because of all that crap. I don't think there's anything here other than a bunch of zombies with more maggots and maggot zombies coming out of zombies and zombies and maggots everywhere. I hope you like maggots because they have got plenty. They've got a surplus sale. They're, every maggot must go. It's clearance. Like this whole cathedral, the cemetery is going bankrupt. First come, first serve for all the maggots. Don't, don't come here by Tuesday. Maggots are all gone. Play last chance, last day deals. 25% off all maggots. 50% off if you come in with your own maggot-ridden corpse. Oh. Apparently someone wanted the 100% off special deal, but that was obviously a bit of a drop. A bit too big of a drop for them to handle. I don't recall if there's any items that are over here. I feel I, I feel the need to be thorough, but uh, ah! Shit! Get, oh! Ugh. Surprisingly, I don't have the maggot status. Huh. One other benefit to having torch here is burning! Burning! I mean, I've demonstrated this prior when I was showing how fire bombs can be very useful against some of the bosses and the pus of man. This is no different. Burning! Ow. Okay, this is where I need the torch, and this is where the torch being out is actually really handy. Burn! 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 <laughs> it's fire everywhere! It's burning! And they can't do anything about it. They just sit there and burn. And in case you didn't notice, I quite like it when they burn. These zombies have caused me nothing but problems in the past, and this is so cathartic just to deal with them. Except in your case, I get to just stab you in the butt. Praise the praise the sun. Praise the memes. And avoid the, th the another zombie ridden corpses coming out of the ground. And now, the warden. Or eventually the warden. So you, yeah. So that thing over there, that is the ow. I mean, most things are the ow. I will grant. Oh, you got parried. Shoot, I, hang on, I need to kill you. Sorry, if you would, if you'd be so kind as to do that again. Ow, nope. I mean, please. Oh, never mind. I'm not, I'm not maggotied up. Okay, come on, come at me, come at me. I, oh, whoops. No, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. I need to heal up. Hang on. We good? We're good. Okay, cool. Do you just get ow maggot it up? Ah, shoot. There we go. Okay. Phew. Clutch berries. Anyway, what I want off this guy is the twin blades you didn't drop, you jerk. I want those twin blades they caused bleed. They're really cool. I know I haven't used twin blades in a while, but the warden twin blades were the reason why I previously said, I don't know. Maybe I'll use twin blades in the offhand. Maybe I'll get good at pairing with twin blades or just have them around because maybe I'll use them again. It's because of those twin blades because they cause bleed. They're really good. I want them. I'm not going to farm for them on camera, but I want them. I want them very badly. There's some other things down here. I think Saintry Belvine, which is one of those. Oh shit! Actually, no. I don't want to. I don't want to be with you. Don't you? You can be on your own. Where's the? Where's the hole? The important thing is I open the shortcut. Maggots, man. It's maggots everywhere. 
maggots. Nothing but maggots. Like I said, I hope you like maggots. Alright, so... This is cutting more people up. Ow! Well, that's a thing that happened. I say before I... Wow, just barely avoid dying. Bad, not unrecoverable. A little shame that I had to use the SS blast so soon. But here's the important thing, right? And this is why I wanted that shortcut open. Because now I can do this and get away with it. Except you're a pain in the butt. So I need to get my souls back. Hang on, you. Okay. Now you may come at me. Bro. Actually, you know what? Don't come at me. Maybe not, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Hang on. Um, thinking I want my torch in my offhand. There we go. Just in case. Also, so I can do this. Uh, no, I mean this. I mean, I do that. See, that's the idea. Is I do one torch, and then I cut you with a knife. While you're on fire, I get fresh roasted maggot. If it weren't for the fact that the entire concept of that is so disgusting, I would regret having said it. That would be really handy. Anyhow. With that one gone, there's another one I could go for. And will. Because why not? One good burn deserves another. And there's another. Come at me, maggoty thing. And at least the torch is up. Ah, no, no, you're not gonna move. That's not what you do. You stay put and flail around while you burn. I move. It's a very clear relationship here. Oh, you're not even gonna get hit. I mean, you are gonna get hit, but you're not gonna hit me. That's the important thing. And more burning? Yes, much more burning. I mean, if you don't know that fire is the way to go here, it's hella frustrating. If you do know that fire is the way to go here, it's just amusing. Although, if you don't know, it's actually not a huge deal. It just, it becomes a little more stressful. A little harder to get through. I mean, why would you expect that having a torch would throw maggots off your body? I don't know, to me that just seems a little odd. Like, I wouldn't expect it. But then again, I don't make maggots. It's just not my day job. Honestly, the maggot making industry is in very bad shape right now. I don't even see the point of going that. It doesn't feel like a very good upward mobility move. And that goes true for Titanite Lizards as well. They're they're not only all that handy. I mean, useful to have. And this one here is going to be kind of interesting because I get to cut it to tiny pieces before it even has a chance to move. Are you going to get staggered? Oh, no, you're not going to get staggered. That was actually really painful. Regrettable. Wait, what am I doing? I can step. I has step. I don't need to worry about you. I can just step around you. And then, ow! Get bit. Not, not like that. Ugh. I'm seriously, I'm seriously starting to think I'm overestimating the value of the step on this weapon compared to a roll. All right, let's try you again. Let's try you again, and hopefully this time not die. And also remember that I can do the step, and that's really handy. And now I have high defense. Oh yeah, right, I can just do the step in reaction. What am I thinking? Oh yeah, thank you! Get stabbed! Get double stabbed! Get dead! And another Titanite scale. That will come in handy. Eventually. I think by the time Titanite scales come in handy, I should have about eight of them. So I could easily get a plus three boss weapon. Because as I recall, it goes up by powers of two. So you need seven of them to get up to a plus three weapon. Because like one, then two, then four. You need 15 to get to a plus four weapon. And then you need a Titanite rock. No, not Titanite rock. I'm thinking of Bloodborne. You need a Titanite... Okay, hang on. There's whatever it is that gets you the last level Titanite upgrade. Whose name I can't remember for some reason. That's what you need to get everything to the top level. 
But with enough Titanite skills, you're going to at least get to plus four. And I am intending to get a couple boss weapons down the line later in the game. But for now, I'm just going to use fairly standard weapons. And we get another chance at the Warden Twin Blades. I'm happy about that. I also have my defense up. I also have loads of souls, actually, come to think of it. And I'm trying to remember where the next bonfire is inside. I believe there isn't one. In fact, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it as if I'm continuing up completely unstopped. And we're back as if nothing happened except for a slight increase in the amount of HP I have and an additional Estus charge. Both of which will likely become relevant in a moment. Oi! You there! Knife job! How? Huh, okay, so failing a parry means you take more damage, apparently. Ow. Oh yeah, way more damage. Oh wow, sheesh, that was... Amazing amount of damage. Except when I succeed a parry, then I get to hit you for massive damage, so it all kind of evens out. Don't you think? Oh, perfect, I timed it right. And you didn't drop me any Warden Twin Blades. You jerk. Like I said, not gonna farm for that on camera. Might not even try to go for it all that urgently. I just want them. But, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go for them that hard, because right now I am very focused on the Brigand Twin Daggers. Anyhow, as we all know, the biggest priority right now is to not be maggoted. Which means burning things. And then cutting them when they're on fire. Because that is actually a really good strategy. And Oh, hey! Thanks, giant! I knew it'd come in handy again at one point. Is that giant a nice giant? No, yeah, it's a nice guy. Provided you talk to him at least once and he knows that you exist as a person. Once that happens, he's your friend forever. Bam. I can just go around here, no problem. Young White Branch. Ah, there they are. Sort of. Oh, I think I can see them. Yeah, I can! Thanks, giant! Alright, given that, I think that's all the items to get out of this area. Great. So we can move on to the rest of the cathedral. Which is where it gets really interesting. Going through rooftops and rafters and the like. It's actually also really tricky. You see here, we got this door. And it's kind of a nice door. Big double door system. And for some reason, only opens one way. Although, granted, considering the construction of it, there's no handles to pull. That actually kind of makes sense. It's good luck actually getting it open. So yeah, I kind of have to go in from the other side. And that means taking a trip along the rafters. Which is going to be a little bit tricky. A little bit interesting. A little bit tricky, mostly tricky. It's also kind of long and time-consuming. And I'm pretty sure after this first little bit, I'm just gonna leave it for the next episode. Oh, thank goodness you didn't recover in time. Also, you are a jerk. And I don't like you. Eat real bow, crossbow user! Ow! I guess that's something to insult them or something. Now, I think that one actually does throw one of the... Oh, shoot. You're not... You're not what I want to have to deal with. I think one of those throws one of the Lloyd's Talismans at you. Or, well, Undead Hunter Charm, but they're Lloyd's Talismans. They've always been. They always will be. Even when they're called something different. They had one name in one game, and that's the name they shall always have. And looks like that's... That, it, it. Well, who said air couldn't be a good building material? I mean, every sensible engineer I've ever talked to. But what do they know? Other than proper engineering. Okay, there's a thrall here somewhere. There's a thrall right there. Hiya, thrall. Actually, I should do this aimed properly so I can hit the head in, I think, one shot. Ah, not quite. Nope. Bye, a thrall. I mean, you only have to go through there once to know that there's thralls somewhere around here. And once you know the thralls that exist, you kind of just pick up on the fact that you should look everywhere. 
Okay, go for the explosion. Go for the gold! You got the gold and self-destruction. Oh wait, I need to kill you direct properly. Come on, you. Up, on your feet. Down, onto the ground. Oh yeah! Have fun falling. Ow. Well, that was a bit of a pain. Well, oh, yeah, they're, they're dead. They're very dead. As they should be. As for you, another arrow to the head should do you nicely. Flay on the ground. Oh, but you have a friend. Ah. I mentioned before, Thrall's hardest enemy in the game. I stand by that no matter what. Did that one just fall to his death? I was trying to make a point there, and you had to go kill yourself just to spite me. I mean, that is low. That is really low. Well, this seems like a pretty good place to end off this episode. There's a fair bit more to get through there, and on two Estus flasks. Oh boy, is that going to be an adventure. Anyhow, for the time being... I will realize, to my dismay, that there's actually a really cool path up there that would get me down in front of the thralls. I'm going to take that path next time. Right there. It's right in front of me. I... I am surprised I didn't notice that, but if I go through... Why can't the... Whatever. If I go through the rafters down there, cross, and then up the other side, on that rooftop, I can drop down to an area that's going to make my life loads easier by dropping down there. To the point that I'm half convinced I could just run over there right now and then come back here in the next episode. But I won't. So for the time being, thank you for watching, and enjoy stuff.